Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Here today, we'll be talking about my wish list for the NASCAR Classics 164 line. And five diecasts I think would be awesome to be remade, so to speak, in the NASCAR Classics line. If you don't know what the Classics line is, uh, they basically take paint schemes. Like it could be Jeff Gordon's 2000 Richmond win. It could be uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s Talladega 2000 win. Whatever it may be, they take the paint schemes with the race version graphics and stuff like that, and they re-release it in the modern-day cast. And it's beautiful work they do. But unfortunately, they don't release nowhere near enough of them. So I figured, why not? Let's give them some ideas. So make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up. And let's go and hop into it, guys. I'm not going to put them necessarily in order. I'm just going to give five really good examples. Because I feel like if I put them in order, then it's like, okay, well, you're prioritizing this driver. And uh, this win is more significant. So I'm just going to give five really cool ideas. The first car I'm going to be talking about here, if you're a Jimmy Johnson fan, you're going to really like this one here. I would love to see Jimmy Johnson's 2002 first Dover win, that being the spring race or early summer, depends which side of the coin you're really on. But uh, I would love to see this die cast get made uh, from 2002. Uh, they made the Fontana race win, which was his first ever career win back in 02. They did make that in the racing champions line and perhaps another mold down the road. But they never made an action or, you know, winner circle quality race to win die cast as far as I'm concerned with all the bells and whistles. And I would love to see that. But I think it's more realistic and possibly just gives it a better chance of, of happening if they do something they've never made. And that being the Dover win. You know, Jimmy Johnson swept Dover in 02. In his rookie year. I mean, it's like incredible, right? I think it'd be really cool to have his first Dover win and then possibly down the road have his second win. Look, they do the same thing with uh, Jeff Gordon cars. He, it could be the most random win. It could be Richmond, Talladega, Atlanta, Sonoma, whatever it may be, they make a 164 for it. So my point is, I would really like to see this one get made. Another one I would really like to see from Jimmy Johnson is his first ever Coca-Cola 600 victory. Uh, he won uh, the Coke 600 in 2003, you know, rain shorten or whatever. He won that race, but it was such a beautiful paint scheme, right? The Winston Cup graphics on it, the metallic blue and the white and red, and patriotic car, it's so beautiful. Now, they've made about a billion of that die cast, but I don't think they've ever made a raced version of it. And again, I think Jimmy Johnson right now has such a huge fan base still. Why not? I'm all for it. And then they could make it with a updated uh, die cast mold. A lot of people don't know this, but the 2001 Jimmy Johnson uh, NASCAR Classics re-release actually has a different mold than the cars that were actually made in 2001 and if you really want to check that out take you know the jimmy johnson car compare it to like a jeff gordon 01 you'll notice the front ends of the car on the jimmy johnson with the new mold is much more realistic it's not like a flat curve like the original molds are it's more flat like this so it looks really cool and i think it makes a great die cast next one here look I think it is absolutely high time they make a re-release of the COT era. Oh my gosh. Imagine the paint schemes they can make, dude. The number one card I would love to see is Brad Kozlowski's Talladega win. I think the 09 Talladega car has so much controversy, so much historical meaning to it. It's just like that was such a, a huge moment in the sport, not only for the racing, the COT era, the safety, everything. Why not? It's his first career win. I mean, Brad Keselowski, he's not going to be racing probably in five years. I mean, I would love to see that car get made, uh, be the first re-release of a COT ever made. I think it definitely deserves a re-release. I think it'd be amazing. Let's get it made. I think it'd be so cool. Another one I would really like to see made is Kyle Busch's 2010 Bristol win. Now, they could do the whole sweep in the 164 scale, but I would like to see his um his cup series paint scheme made with the proper casting to it that having the 2010 spoiler not the wing and also having the front valence so it would be a brand new casting a brand new mold it would be different than the 2011 and the 2012 and also the wing cot mold so it'd be completely unique i think kyle bush fans would love it i don't think they ever made that car in the 164 scale so i really think it would be awesome to see that get made and i'll end the video on this one guys this is gonna be the most random possible win you could imagine but i think it'd be so cool you know they've made some really obscure um 80s die cast right so why not have some random winners from the 2000s and one of them that i, I just kind of thought on top of my head and with it being a hendrick motorsports win i think it'd make a lot of sense 2003 richmond joe nemechek 
Whoa, that would be cool. I mean, could you imagine that actually getting a raced version diecast of it? I mean, it would just be so freaking random. It would be so cool. And the thing is about the NASCAR Classics line, they don't make nowhere near enough of these things. I mean, you can go and look. The Jeff Gordon cars that they've made from like 97, 98, 99, 2000, etc. They dry up. They dry up. Even his 2002 Bristol raced win car dried up so they don't make a huge quantity of these even though they usually have to make a, a dedicated casting just for that production line so i really would like to see that i think a 2003 joni machek car would be amazing actually you know what i'll add a bonus one and this is something that i've wanted for the longest amount of time can we please get a new casting of the 2003 pontiacs i mean could you imagine if they made the Ricky Craven set. I mean, could you imagine if they made like the the actual Craven car? They could put it in Authentics line too. Of the, the the you know the raced version Craven car with all the markings and stuff. Maybe release the Kurt Busch one. I don't know. But as long as we could get the Craven car made with a modern um, tooling to it, I think it would be fantastic. So that'll be my bonus one for this video. If you have any ideas, make sure to comment down below, and I'll end the video on this. Um, the Craven, or not Craven, but the Pontiac cars from 2003, a lot of people don't know this, but the molding was really all over the place. Action slash Winter Circle did not make any um, die cast of this, right? Because they usually made like the Joe Gibbs Racing stuff. They went from Pontiac to Chevrolet uh, from 2002 to 2003. So the ones that really got made were like the Johnny Bensons, were of course the Ricky Cravens, and then, you know the Jerry Nadeaus, the you know Jack Sprague's X, Y, and Z, uh, and of course uh, uh, Mike Skinner as well. But the problem is they made them with, like, the racing champions mold, and the wheels are, like, super long. It's It doesn't look good. Like, the wheelbase, the cars look like mini limos. They look like four-door sedans compared to a two-door stock car look. Um, so that's that mold's kind of poop. And then the Hot Wheels ones, they're really, like, the, the clear coat on those cars are incredibly thick. If you actually take the paint off the cars, the, the actual casting is very, very realistic to the ones you see in the Thunder games. Um, but I would love to see just a normal casting of that car. Um, Action did make a club car, I think, for Jerry Nadeau. But, of course, that has, you know, the elite details to it, the opening hood. I just want a normal closed cast uh, Winter Circle style car. And I think re-releasing Craven's Pontiac, it's almost the 20th anniversary of that win, I think that would be incredible. What do y'all think, guys? Have a great one, everybody. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. And uh, I look forward to reading your comments, guys. And for all your NASCAR diecast shopping needs, make sure to check out that promo code down below. And to all the cats who do use that promo code, you are awesome. So thank you all again for watching. Thank you all again for 4,000 subscribers. You folks are awesome. I need some coffee. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.